I'm Dr. Ramy Goujon. I'm an assistant professor of anthropology at the University of West Florida. Uh, in a nutshell, 3D scanners are a technology for capturing spatial data about um, objects or artifacts. Um, they've got a lot of applications. They're being used in historic architecture to capture the, the exteriors and interiors of buildings. They're being used in archaeology uh, to collect data about objects that are perhaps too fragile to handle. There are a number of artifacts or categories of artifacts, things like uh, pottery or funerary objects that are not only themselves physically fragile, um, but they're, they're culturally sensitive objects and we may not have the ability to um, curate them or keep them uh, for study. So when these objects are, are able to be recorded using a 3D scanner, we can collect a lot of information about the object um, without needing to keep direct access to that object. Okay. With the 3D scanners, it's using um, a no, an array of lasers to send light energy out at given angles um, and at a given speed. And the rate at which it returns tells it something about how far away that object is. One of the, the reasons I got the 3D scanner from my lab was to analyze ceramics, um, basically decorations on pottery that I need to measure in very precise ways. And using hand calipers, um, I've gotten mixed results, uh, both just from my day-to-day -day recording of, of that information and also when I get assistants who can help me with these projects. We have to be able to replicate those measurements from analyst to analyst. By capturing that data digitally, we can go back and record the same place on the same pot shirt again and again and again and be relatively um, assured that we've gotten this, the same measurement from analyst to analyst. Our physical anthropologists are using the 3D scanner coupled with a 3D printer to print off um, elements of, of bone or um, human remains that we obviously can't pass around in a classroom. Uh, so for example, some soft tissues, cartilage for example, um, can be digitally scanned in and then printed off and then that plastic object can be passed around the class as a, a demonstration tool.